Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. Today we will be working on refrigeration on my Trollison reach-in fridge that just broke recently. The repairman told me it was about a 10-year-old fridge and just some major parts needed to be replaced. That would cost me about $1,200, which is a little bit more than I paid for this thing. Of course, I was a little distraught, but then I remembered Curtis Stone and, and some other farmers' videos where they build their own walk-in cooler. And they build it using this device called a cool box that allows you to cool down a space with only an air conditioning unit. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I customize my fridge and add on a 10,000 BTU LG window air conditioner. I actually have the CoolBot Pro, and in their Pro version, they allow you to monitor your entire refrigeration system and the temperatures from your phone uh, anywhere in the world, and you can control it and everything. The next episode, I'll be showing you guys all about how to use it, how to install it on your phone, so look forward to that episode as well. Huge thank you to CoolBot for uh, giving me the CoolBot Pro that I can try out and use. I've been wanting to build my own fridge for a while, so I'm excited to see the process and how easy it's going to be. If you guys would like your own CoolBot, they've given me a $20 off coupon for all of my viewers, and I put the coupon down in the video description. Just go ahead and click on the link, and it'll give you $20 off. So that was very nice of them. Thank you to CoolBot. All right, guys, let's go ahead and build it. The first step is going to be dismantling it and figuring out the right position for my ADC unit. So let's go, let me show you guys my plans. So here's my window AC unit. It's an LG 10,000 BTU unit. And on the CoolBot website, they recommend no smaller than an 8,000 BTU unit. Now an 8,000 BTU would have been perfect for this small reach-in. A 10,000 BTU can cool down a room as big as six by 10 feet. So this, is, this will be a little bit overkill, but it'll probably cool it down very quickly, which will be nice. For more information, you can go to the CoolBot website. They have instruction manuals, and then they list the different air conditioners that they recommend. And it's pretty cool because I've even seen people put these on the back of like trailers, and these will be mobile air conditioning units that they can drive to their farmer's markets or deliver to restaurants and things like that as well. So this CoolBot hacking system is incredible. I'm such a fan. You can get an air conditioning unit fairly cheap, around 100 bucks. I got mine for 90. Let's just say between four and 500 dollars, you've got a working refrigerator. You could buy an old broken uh, refrigerator like this or a big walk-in cooler. Maybe the compressor doesn't work or something doesn't work on it. And you could just install one of these air conditioning units and be way, way cheaper. And it's awesome because these are so easy and accessible and cheap that if they break, who cares? It's a hundred bucks and you get a brand new one and then you've got a whole new working fridge. You never have to call a repairman. So I've taken off the top cover and up inside of here I think is kind of where a lot of the main refrigeration and defrosting is going on. So what I'm going to have to do is actually cut into my fridge. Coolbot also has some videos online about it and it's pretty easy. You'll just cut through with a sawzall. So you can come in from the side, um, but I want to re maintain a little bit more space in my reach-in since it's already kind of small. So what I'm going to do, my plan is to remove all this stuff up inside of here, and then I'll install the air conditioner right against here, and the air will blow inside and then down. So that's my plan, that's what I'm going to go for, and I'll adjust as need be. So now the next step is to measure this thing so I can cut my hole in my fridge. Okay, so I measured that the outer shell of the air conditioner is 23 and 5 eighths by 15 inches. According to the CoolBot video, I should add another half inch for my cut. So I added a half inch, so now it's going to be 24 and an eighth by 15 and a half. And then the extra gap will just be filled with some insulating foam. Here's all the tools that I'm going to be needing. To mark out and measure, I'll be using a Sharpie, tape measure, a level, and a right angle to draw the lines. To fill in the hole and create a tight seal, I'll be using aluminum tape and just some expanding foam insulation. To cut the hole into the fridge, I'll be using this one and a half inch hole saw and my Makita drill to punch some holes in, and then I'll be cutting across with the reciprocating saw. 
So to determine where I'm going to actually place the AC on this side, I put my totes here with all the lids on. So that's the highest I ever put things in here. I do have some smaller things I could put on top. But the AC itself only sticks out about this much. So it's not a big deal at all. So I just want it to have to come down to maybe about here. And I'll measure, you know, 15 inches up from that. So part of it will sit up in this upper space. But I think the more that sits lower, that can blow air just into this room, the better. So I'll make my first initial measurements to, to find where the bottom of the AC is going to be, and then measure up from there, and then go across. Then I'll have to take out all the internals that are inside of this. I think it's the defroster. Okay, so then I'm going to come in four inches off the sidewall here. Four inches will put it right about in the center there. So that's what we'll do. So this is the top mark and this is the bottom mark of where the AC will be. So I'll make a mark here. I've got my four marks here. Okay, now that I have my lines drawn, I'm just gonna double check everything and make sure that it is the correct measurements that I wanted. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use this uh, hole saw here and cut through on the corner. Okay, so now that I know it fits, now I'm going to take my aluminum tape and just start patching up these areas, um, shooting some insulation foam, getting it all dialed in and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Foil everywhere, and it's all nice and clean, and we're ready for the air conditioner now. Okay, so now it's time to install the cool box. So let's take it out of its box and let's see what we got in here. This is the Wi-Fi module that's going to collect the data from the air, send that data back and forth between the control module here. And these are the cables that we'll need and of course a power cable. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly read through this to make sure I understand everything. All right, we got the Coolbot Pro here. So we're just going to mount it up here. So let me explain how this thing works and what each of these wires do. Okay, so this is of course the power, okay, this heater cable. This is what actually makes this thing work. So what you do is you connect this heater cable, this actually will get warm. We connect it to the temperature probe for the AC unit. So the AC unit is always reading a hotter temperature than what is inside of this room. And that's what tricks it. And then the cool bot uses its temperature probes to set and monitor the temperature. So the one for fins, we're going to stick it inside of the fins of the AC. The room one is just, it just dangles in the room and that monitors the temperature of the room. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to try to do this so that the wires are routed really nicely. We'll use tape to get all this stuff out of our way. So they said use a little pencil and just poke through. Bends them out of the way. Okay, and then they said kind of bend them back on top of this. Okay, that's nice and snug. Heater cable and the thermometer for the AC unit. And then we just wrap it together. And they give you this little piece of tin foil in the kit. Wrap it on there. I'm gonna stick a piece of electrical tape on there just to make it a little bit more secure tape these up and get them out of my way. So I just tape the heater cable off to the side here just to have it out of the way of the main fans. And then for my temperature probe here, 
tape it up on the wall. And I said to not let the temperature probe touch anything. And the probe part is the black end. So that is my temperature probe up there. So I've got everything wired. So now the remaining things I have to do, this is the wireless receiver for the Coolbot Pro. If you have a regular Coolbot, then you won't have this. You don't have to deal with this. But this can't be inside of the fridge because <clears throat> it is not weatherproofed like the, the main control unit is. So I'm running all of my wires out of the hole that was already built into this fridge. So I'm gonna run everything, get it all in place, and then I'll put some more insulating foam in there and get it all nice and tight. I'll put the top back on, seal it up, and then we can turn it on and test it. I'm gonna plug it in, this is the moment of truth. And I'm going to show you the settings we have to put in for this. Okay, so you want to put it on the coolest setting possible. So 60. The fan speed should be high. Okay, now we're going to plug in the cool bot. Set the temperature. I hit the check button. And I'm going to set it to 36, which is what I want. Alright, we got this thing running. Nice cold air coming out. Alright you guys, it's market day and I just harvested chard and mustard greens. They're in the fridge. And we're down to about 44 degrees. It's only been on for like 20 minutes. It's already down to 44. So that's awesome. So hopefully it'll go down to 36 and work perfectly. Been running this thing for about an hour. Let's see what the temperature is. All right, so it's about at 39. I checked on it earlier, it was about 37. The temperature seems to fluctuate quite a bit whenever I open the door, obviously, because it's not like in a walk-in fridge where you close it real quick. Um, so you, need, you do lose temperature, but the cool mod and the air finisher is able to cool it down really quickly. Even on the market day when I'm opening and closing the doors a lot, it never goes above 45. But then, and then once it's closed, it'll dip back down to 40 and below. And I have it set at 36 degrees. So guys, it was an awesome experience installing the CoolBot and setting it all up. A huge thank you to the CoolBot guys and your amazing product that's saving small farmers and other people tons of money on buying commercial fridges like this and paying way too much on repairs. I will never buy a commercial fridge again. I will only make one using a CoolBot system. Uh, seriously, guys, it's it is that awesome. For you know, it, it depends how much, you know, what size room you're building. Depends on what size air conditioner you need. But we're talking extremely cheap. Definitely check out the Coolbot website. They've got a few videos to help you guys build, and you can get some more information. I've also got a great link down in the description. It's twenty dollars off of your own Coolbot. And stay tuned for a future episode where I'm going to talk about how you set up the wireless network for the CoolBot Pro and then how to use it with the app.